Uh, all right. And all of this is, why are we doing all this? Because how are we going to navigate in the big world with peace, with equanimity, with gratitude, with love? How are we going to do that in our relationships? No. No doubt all of us have struggled somewhere in that process, whether it's a broken heart and grief and conflict and people or people we work with or anxiety, self-judgment. I know when someone was saying she was visiting the US and we were talking about it and she's like, that culture there is really high stress. It's the way that people are moving around um, the pressure they put themselves under, the kind of level of fear. It's a heavy cloud. It's like, yeah, it is. So, uh, and so this brings me up to the big picture, the big problem. Why is that? I mean, there's a thing, you know, what's the problem in the world? What's the problem with people? What's going on? And it's somewhat like that Matrix movie where Morpheus tells Neo, you know, there's a matrix and no one can tell you what it is, but there's something, I don't forget how he described it, something about it, something's not quite right with the world and you can't quite put your finger on it. we probably all had this sense as children. Something's not quite right here, but we didn't know what it was. Yeah, it puts a splinter in our mind. And in one of my recapitulation recollection patterns, I recollected back process it was on a power journey i could remember a time where as a very young child i was just in this state of love and happy remember what it's like if you've seen ch children and it's pro it's hard for us to remember because a lot of our memories are built from fear and bad experiences why we remember them because we feel we need to to look out for things so we learn vigilance and carefulness and how to behave because of bad you know punishments and reprimands and shames so that's where a lot of our memories start. If you get back to what it feels like to be free like a child or play with children who are like five, six years old, eight, 10 even, you know, although that starts to be the conditioning years. There's such an abundance of love and joy. And then we learn about the rules and we break the rules and we get punished. And that's what creates those splinters. But we don't remember, and we don't know that that's creating the splinters in our mind and the wounds in our emotional body. And we don't have enough of a map and understanding about what's going on to kind of go, wow, human beings, I have this great sense of love, and this is very real and possible and joy that we can all be happy in the world but you're all unhappy and you're getting upset that these made up rules aren't being followed and you're hurting people and you're hurting me. This doesn't make sense when we could just be loving and happy. And we don't have the way to articulate that, that that's what's happening. We just end up feeling confused and then hurt and afraid at that young age about what's going on and getting reprimanded and told, no, don't do that. And you're bad and getting our spankings or whatever our punishment was, shaming. And we absorb into that way of being. And we still want to rebel. We'll rebel, you know, through puberty and we'll rebel in our teenage years. And like, we don't want to fit into this. We don't want to fit into this way of being, but nothing else is being offered. 
and all the adults around us are in charge. And the higher you go up into authority, the more serious they are about it. And the more they are about the rules and the absolutes and the fear until maybe you get up to a national level and your leaders are talking about other countries hurting us and we need to go to war and defend ourselves. And you have a society at the high level of authority in these hierarchy. Mostly operating and making decisions based out of this fear of what might happen in the future. And this trickles down through government, this trickles down through church. And so the solution to this world that we've gotten into, well, what happens is as we're growing up in it, we're not exactly sure that this, we don't really know that this is what's happening to us. We're being absorbed into it, thinking that way, believing that way, feeling that way, operating from fear, a fearful mind and fearful beliefs. And we drift away and lose that memory and that practice, so it just came naturally of how to be loving and kind, both with ourselves and express love and joy that just flowed freely and naturally. And we try to make sense of this by going, what's really happening here? And we're like, we lose sense that it's the world. We learn not to question authority. And so we're like, this thing that we had a sense of that was confusing that doesn't seem quite right, and we can't quite put our finger on it. We start to assume that, well, they must know what they're talking about. They must have it figured out. They're in charge, they're running everything. I'll believe them. Well, and the result of that assumption is, well, the problem must be with me. I don't get it. Something's wrong with me. We don't know what it is. But we start to get this feeling that we're broken. We don't fit in. It's like, and we don't fit in, not because the world is this fearful hierarchy of beliefs and structures where people are, are living primarily from stress instead of from love. We don't recognize that and go, I don't want to fit into that. I don't want to be absorbed and live in the matrix. And But there's hardly anything else being offered. If we assume that's normal and that's what we're supposed to do, this version that we recollect from childhood of free throwing love is like, not available to us anymore because we've slowly forgotten. And now we've assumed that I'm the problem, I'm broken, there's something most wrong with me. And now we're, now we're off on this chase to kind of go fix ourselves. But we don't really know what the problem is. <laughs> But we didn't fit in, but we didn't fit into something we really, in our soul level, didn't want to be involved in anyways. Because it requires a whole structure of fear-based beliefs that is like suffocating the amount of love we're allowed to express. So the game is on to fix ourselves when we're not broken. But we don't know that. But we have acquired this systems of thinking about ourselves and fear-based beliefs and a need to fit in and belong. And what happens if we don't? And a whole kind of structure of beliefs that are driving us 
that now we've absorbed as part of our problem into our mind. And it comes with self-judgment and of perfection and an anxiety, I'm not good enough. And am I gonna be loved? You know, and looking for love from somebody else because we've stopped sending that love out from ourselves. So game on by all of this, right? When the solution's quite simple, love the way you loved when you're a child. Let it freely flow out of you. And don't believe the lies and stories that we've acquired. Well, easy to say, challenging to do, 